Today we're going to talk about how to create a switch interface for the iPad with some items that might be lying around uh, your special education classroom or clinic. Uh, keep in mind that this is just kind of throwing some things together and hopefully they work. Um, so if you're thinking about buying these items to make it work, I would pretty much suggest that you just buy a regular switch interface from like AbleNet or something. Uh, but if you have these items lying around and you want to try it, uh, then by all means, give it a go. So let's see what we're going to need. So the first thing you're going to need is one of these Don Johnson switch interfaces that I don't think they manufacture like this anymore. Uh, but there's a ton hanging around in all sorts of special education classrooms across the country. Uh, and it works for Mac. And you can see here it plugs into the USB. Uh, but there's really no way to plug it into the iPad without the special uh, system I'm going to show you. So the other thing you're going to need is a, a charging station uh, for a USB, and you're going to make sure that it connects to a power source. Um, you can see here that the USB can plug in, and then you have four different places for the USB to connect into. Finally, the item that I assume that most people don't have. So if you have the previous two items and you're only missing this, then you're a really good candidate to uh, purchase this to complete the set. It's about $30 and it's a USB to lightning cable uh, port. So basically the USB fits on this side and then you plug in this side to the iPad. Uh, it's about $30 on Amazon um, and it's kind of marketed as a camera port, right? You can see the little symbol of a camera right here. Um, but this is what's gonna allow you to finally connect your switch to the iPad. So the first thing you wanna do is plug in the uh, USB to lightning um, port into the iPad and then go ahead and hook that up to the uh, charging station and make sure the charging station is plugged in. Then you can go ahead and plug in the switch interface to the charging port uh, with the switch connected. You can see here that it's getting power because the light is on. For our purposes, we wanna use this button at the top up here and move it to the blue light. And let's see what this does. So it's on the blue light, the switch is plugged in. Let's go to settings, accessibility, switch control at the bottom, switches, and then add new switch, and it'll be an external switch. So if we've done everything right, we should be able to press the switch and see it come up on the screen. There it is. So here you can name your new switch and go ahead and use it just like any kind of switch interface and switch setup uh, that they sell on AbleNet. Have fun.